everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm starting a new series called, I didn't even think, <laughs> it's like a catchy theme tune, like, Indie Supermarket <laughs> Show. <laughs> but anyway, it's gonna be supermarket reviews. So I'm basically, I'm gonna go to all different supermarkets in the UK and see how good they are for a number of factors. So how good their kind of vegan sections are for vegan food. So let's judge it on the frozen section, the refrigerated section, and the ambient section the ambient section thank you hannah and yes. the fruit and vegetable section there you go. let's just add in another one why don't we thank so you. four criterias and today is going to be none other than tesco i love tesco particularly the one near me because they have a big floor upstairs that has clothing and cards and accessories i just go and like do a shop there then i shop downstairs for food and it's great so we're going to start at tesco that's going to be today's supermarket so come along with me look at that look at you you genius oh let's move this up yes yes, yes. oh god no so we are off to tesco with hannah monty montgomery here <laughs> who is a a keen Waitrose supporter because she works in Waitrose. So this will be interesting. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm quite excited. Um, and um, let's go. Let's get going. <laughs> and what a beautiful day it is too. It is a glorious day. The Focus sun is, is shining. The birds are singing. singing. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Is, like I love food shopping mm. like I love food shopping you know people who say they hate it yeah that's not you <laughs> Woo um, yeah I love it I could literally wander around a supermarket for hours and hours and hours and hours and I would be the happiest person ever um, and especially now there's just so many vegan products in supermarkets that are just popping out of the ground like daisies like daisies like daisies so it's really great for vegans now because there's just so many new products coming out it's almost like every week there's a new kind of it might not say it's vegan it's some things like we refer to as accident accidentally vegan so they just happen to be vegan even though they don't say it like explicitly but yeah um yeah there's just loads of stuff out now so we'll see what we can find in tesco tesco's is pretty good actually um we we'll also we can find little gems and little beauties we can discover beauties beauties we're also picking up some onions for a challenge yes. we're doing later yes. possibly for my channel are we doing the yes, onion challenge are. so my I'll lovely put, friend oh yeah put put my links in the description link in the bottom thanks um my friend will has given me a challenge for us to do where we have to chop up some onions and essentially sing a song and try not to be affected by the onions power do we have to sing the song well no okay good no <laughs> No. <laughs> well, I can't sing Otherwise any song. Otherwise, I'm well. screwed. <laughs> no. I'm quite excited. I don't know if I'm going to win, though. I'm not going to. I think you're underestimating how bad. Do you know what I used to do when I cut onions? onions? What? I used to wear swimming goggles. That's a good idea. Though. Honestly, I thought it was. That's a really good idea. But then it went up my nose instead and made it feel kind of like tingly. Yeah. Right, ahead of you, you can see my old china, which has been here since before I was born. And it recently. Is... Oh yeah, what happened recently? <laughs> yes! They oh found like 200 grand's worth of marijuana plants yes! going in there. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. Hey! Did we bring bags for life? No, we didn't. Well, I should have done. Bad vegan over here. Not saving the planet in. So only care about the animals, don't care about I the planet, huh? I got big pockets. I got big there. pockets. <laughs> cool, right, cool. here we go then. Let's go. Well, welcome to Tesco, everyone. Um, it's where I like to spend my evenings. Alone. Alone. As you can see, it is very busy at the moment. It's rush hour. It is. Um, so let's see what we can find in the fruit and veg section. Oh, one thing they do have in Tesco that is really good is their nut section. Nut section. Nut and seed. They do, I don't know, they just do really cool pots of like seedy things. Seedy things. <laughs> seedy things. <laughs> <gasps> oh, why aren't they vegan? Wait, are these vegan? Isn't toffee not vegan at all because it's got butter in it? Or... Oh, look. Oh. Oh, hang no, on. no hang way. On. Hang on. It's vegan. It is vegan. Let's get one to try. Excellent. I'm going to get all the fruit pots. They do quite a lot, although these look kind of manky. Oh, uh, and it's vegan. no. Mark's down for Tesco. Yes. 
open packaging. <laughs> right, so the other thing they do quite well in Tesco, I think, is the little um, pre-made salad pots. This one I've had before. This is basically spice roast cauliflower. Ooh. Kind of plain-ish, but it's pretty good. Great beetroot. Carrots, you could do a vegan coleslaw if you wanted to, just put some vegan mayo in, as far as I know. It doesn't have, oh yeah, here we go. Suitable for vegans. Vegans. And again, cauldrons, pretty good as well. They have these little tofu pieces, which are okay. Um, these are again, good, they're not amazing, but they're good. Tofu. 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 Um, yeah, this is pretty good. So they do different spiced ones. So there's Indian and Chinese. Okay. It's just a really good tofu brand, so I like that. What does regular, like, not tofu, sorry, regular uh, falafels have in them that you can't eat? Basically, a, a genuine falafel should be vegan. Okay. Uh, a lot of supermarkets add either milk or egg. I see. Which it doesn't need, you don't need to add milk or egg, but they do that. Well, now I know. Okay, so there's a few bits here. So these are Indian. Uh, dishes. So Bombay potatoes is vegan. Accidentally. Accidentally vegan. Accidentally uh, vegan. Veg Mosses are vegan. What about the vegetable snack selection? Yep, that's vegan. It's great. Good. So there's a little, what about this? Yeah, so all of these pretty much Everything. are vegan. Not bad Indian kitchen. Not well bad. done. <laughs> wow, look at that. So tasty. Yeah, you can get a base, a Yum. pizza base, but it's vegan. <laughs> oh, look at all the little Halloween things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Perfect. I've never seen you look so good. Thank you. This is too small for my head, but... <laughs> <laughs> you have a big head, man. Hey, <laughs> I think these are made for kids. Big head. Shut up. <laughs> this is cute. Adorable. God. Okay, walk away, Indy. Walk away. I would wear that normally. I was going to say that's that, like actually really nice. <laughs> right, on with the video. Right, so dips. There's obviously hummus, as usual. Um, beetroot and quinoa hummus. Ew. That's vegan. Sounds horrible, but it's vegan. <laughs> Figures. Pasta salads. This is vegan. This is a couscous salad. Why don't you get one of them to try? Uh, pomegranate tabbouleh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Apart from the feta cheese, which is there, they are all vegan. Yummy. <gasps> They're anchovies. Nope, Hannah. <laughs> this is a vegan video. <laughs> approaching my most favorite section. What's your favorite section? So this is the free from ambient. Yeah. Free from ambient. <laughs> so a lot of it is gluten free and this is what really pisses me off about supermarkets is when they say free from like eight times out of ten they mean gluten free. They and do. Not, I'm not even saying just for vegans like a lot of people have dairy intolerances. Mm. I think they would do more dairy free things. I don't know why it was kind of bugs me but um this chocolate is so good this is white chocolate and i'm just gonna stock up on some because i'm a bit low you have those all the time oh, yes, yes you I offer do. those to me a lot <laughs> i also kind of want to try these these are giant Wait, we need to milk chocolate buckets. i'm gonna try these do it Ooh. i wonder if these are vegan Yes, they are. So these are peaches. Ah, oh, they look nice. They do. Vegan custard. Oh, they have vegan um, salad cream and vegan mayo. It's pretty cool. Maize. They have also like different sauces. I've never tried this. This is like lasagna sauce. I love lasagna. So, it, oh, it has coconut. Let's try one of them. Vegan pesto. Oh, damn it, egg. Okay. Right, this is what annoys me as well. There's like all these ingredients that are all vegan, and then there's just like egg just thrown in there. One egg. Or egg powder or milk powder. That's so annoying. So yeah, they have, I think, a really good free from section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is more geared towards gluten free, but I think it's pretty good. Pretty good. So, on to the next part of the Lovely.
<laughs> you absolute noob. Let's move. Let's run away before anyone else notices us. <laughs> microwave rice. We don't actually have a microwave at home, but we have one at work. So sometimes I get the. <laughs> I'm so <sort of> breath from <laughs> Um, yeah, so they have like all different cool kind of combos. Bean and coconut. But it's pretty handy if you like don't have much time for lunch and you just want something really quick to put in the microwave. Um, they kind of in Tesco have like different countries. They have like the Chinese section, they have American section. America's not great for the vegan stuff, but you find in Mexican and Japanese Chinese it's actually really good. So this is the Japanese. And they've got um, all this is vegan, so all these bits is generally pretty good, and so is um, Chinese. It's just sometimes they might put fish, like do fish in something. It's because of Christianity. Exactly, Hannah. Hannah knows all about this now because she's do. studying it at, at her university. I am. I am. The Western world eats meat because Adam and Eve were given dominion over the animal straight away. Oh, okay. There you go. Hi. <laughs> They were given dominion over the animals straight away and as a result Adam named the animals whatever he wanted so he was in charge and as a result he was allowed to eat meat. So the western world which is predominantly Christian, e.g. us in the US and Europe, we all eat meat because it's just ingrained within us but in the west, uh, sorry, eastern cultures especially Buddhism and Sikhism and things like that and Judaism and Muslim, um, the Muslim faith, they don't eat pork especially and a lot of other animals because in their religion it's kind of frowned upon to eat animals especially in Buddhism because you might I find that really interesting you just read my books you'll love them well the thing is that like, Hannah isn't vegan like at all but you're finding it quite interesting I find it fascinating like, it's amazing it's, it's just good because I don't even know really much about that like mm -hmm. where it originated from so that's why I'm learning a lot from Hannah yeah that's good right Mexico so they have all like salsas all this is vegan um, you can get seasonings, which is pretty cool. So, pretty good. Fajita seasoning, taco. Okay. So, now let me take you to the baking aisle. And again, it's pretty good. They've got all the flowers. They have all things like, oh, they have toasted almonds, already toasted. That's kind of cool. So, if you're ever making a cake where you need um, fondant icing, these are all accidentally vegan unless someone can tell me otherwise but they have all like quite a good range of colours they have marzipan that's vegan so again if you're making a Christmas cake it's pretty handy to come down uh, they've got ready rolled icing so yeah it's pretty good and urban fruit I think is really good it's good <gasps> you like a coconut chip these are the best I have to get these <laughs> oh my god, they're the best thing. So this is another thing Tesco is really good for is um, <clears throat> like the healthy kind of dried like seeds, like chia seeds, um, these kind of stuff, like five pounds. It's pretty good for this. Oats, coconut, almond, soya. They're doing pretty well. They're winning. <gasps> <laughs> Star Wars Kellogg's. Dun, 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 These are vegan, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Got some nice vegan toilet roll up there. I feel like I'm really praising Tesco, but I do think they're really good because they've got all this, like, down to... Down to the nuggets. All frozen fruit vegetables. So they have all the vegetables down there, they have like frozen onion, frozen mushroom, like chopped peppers, they have frozen herbs, um, ginger, garlic, like really finely diced fruit that's frozen. Smoothies! This is actually, I haven't even seen all this lately, this is really good. Really good. Look, they have char grilled aubergines. <laughs> so extra. Oh, <laughs> so, ooh, Bombay curry. Okay. Yep, they're vegan. Oh no, yeah they are. Ta-da! So most of McCain's chips are all vegan, which is good. That is good. And then we've got some vegan corn. There's a few cauldron bits. Linda McCartney. These are vegan, the sausage rolls. And... You say cauldron like Harry Potter says it. And he's like, one, two size pewter cauldron. I'm like cauldron. This is the best part. The best part. 
I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, we get a snake one. Let me show you <laughs> yeah, so they have the Ben and Jerry's, which is in uh, some supermarkets, but not all of them. Nope. And they have Outro's coconut ice cream. Do you know what? I really want to try that. I love uh, coconut. So it's not like the biggest section. Oh, they have Swedish glass up there, which is a very, very, very good ice cream. Remember these as a kid? Yes. Kraken. Kraken. They're vegan. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Obviously, not all wine, not all alcohol is vegan. Which I didn't know for a long while. But obviously, they're not going to show you in Tesco like a vegan beer section. That would be great, but they're not going to do that. So it's better to do your research first because they actually have a shit ton of stuff here. Selection. So yeah, obviously you have to like look it up first, but. Or you could sometimes I like, just look while I'm in the supermarket and then quickly Google it and see. But I love the labels. That's cool. That is a good label. That is a good label. Hair drops are vegan. These marshmallows are vegan. Oh no, beef gelatin. Oh! Ew! Yeah. Cows make that. Yeah, they're bone marrow. Grim. Yeah. Trickle tart. Yes. Oh my god, this is vegan. Should we try it? Yeah. Okay. So this is free from again, but it's the like dairy, free from dairy. So they have this. This is basically the brand cheese that they've rebranded into Tesco packaging. Um, but they also do this is actually really good. This is again the cheese brand. This is cream cheese. I haven't tried these slices. What are these? Oh, Vi Life. Okay, I hate Vi Life cheese. So there's more Vi Life there. I find it, I call it Vi Life. Fair enough. Um, um, some desserts again. This cream, this is vegan. So if you want like single cream, then you can get that. And they also do, which is really cool, little pudding. So these are all vegan. They do these, which are vegan. So the Coconut Collaborative, they do really good desserts. They're vegan. This is as well. So they have panna cotta. Let's try one. And then more vegan milk. And also, a good thing to know is Just Scroll, most of their products are vegan. So these are vegan. They do, you can make your own uh, panna chocolate, cinnamon swell. All vegan. Pure and Laura Dairy Cream. Vitalife is vegan. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they do a lot of good selection. We have a few things like chickpea masala, which is vegan, and um, that's not. So, not a lot really. Hummus and carrots. They have vegan sushi, but they only have that today. So, in terms of like the meals to go, it's got milk. It's got milk. It's not great. Not great. Well, that looks quite nice. So there's a few bits. So yeah, it's all right, but this does kind of let them down. I think it's there. Food to go. Some of these, like in hindsight, are really weird to just try by themselves, but. Fine, we'll see. So, first thing we might as well try is the corn vegan burgers because I just got them out of the oven. Peeling. Less than overwhelming, not gonna lie. There you go, Hannah. Thank you. Chuck into that. Lasagna sauce. 
So this is the neck free from section. I've wanted to try this for a while, but normally I just make my own white sauce. So I don't know how good this is going to be. Um. <sighs> oh, that does not smell good. It just smells like nothing. It smells like paint, actually, if anything. It actually smells like paint. Mm. Oh, oh, right, so yeah. you, know. you can dip the burger in. It's nice. Okay. That looks like I spunk. Really, it really does. I really don't want to try this. Well, you got it. You bought it. Use my short nail. There it is. There's no taste to it. Yeah, there is. Yeah? I can't taste a thing. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. Okay. That's a no. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Great. great, okay. Okay. So, next from the free from section again is um, the caramel panna cotta. So, let's try this. I love panna cotta and I love creme caramel. So. Give it a bash. Hoping this is nice. Looks alright. Looks alright. I've only got one spoon. Right. Cook in. Right. It smells like yogurt. Yeah, it does. It genuinely smells like yogurt. I don't really like panna cotta anyway, so I'm not convinced. And yoghurt makes me gag, just the texture of it. I can't eat yoghurt. And that makes me feel the same. Ugh. Tastes nice though, the flavour's good. No, not a fan of that either. Tesco aren't doing very well. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. It's nasty. It kind of tastes like just a plain natural yoghurt with some with kind of burnt sugar. Mm -hmm. Next in the free from section is the giant chocolate butter. It can't be bad, like, come on now. It smell like chocolate? Ish. It smell like dark chocolate. But they're milk chocolate buttons, so this is the test. Yes, this is the test. I like them. They're too dark for me. It doesn't taste like milk chocolate, it tastes like dark chocolate. I'm kind of trying to be milk chocolate. It tastes nice, oh, they're the best thing so far. It doesn't taste like dark chocolate, but it doesn't taste like milk, it's like in the middle. In the middle, exactly. Which is too dark for me. I'm a milk or nothing kind of girl. It tastes slightly like, I don't know if you ever had it, like advent calendar chocolate. Yeah, cheap chocolate. Like cheap chocolate. Cheap chocolate. It's like the best thing we've had so far. Next up, we got such a sugar brush. So die. they have coffee apples in Tesco. Put them. I want to eat you. Look at that. That looks good. Oh, bad product quality there. <laughs> God, I'm sick of all this sugar. Like, oh my God. It's that sound of your tea. Holy crap. Holy crap. Do smell peachy. Okay, I have good and good toast for this. Oh. Whoa! It's like a daddy one. Daddy! Do you want to share my uh, peach slice? No, we can not share my peach slice. Okay, share it now. Okay, but I've already got one in my mouth. Just pull it apart, okay? Friends. I got it. Friends! Don't be offended if I don't eat it though. Me. No, I don't care. No. I don't like peaches that much though, so it's not a vegan problem, it's a peach problem. It's like, it's not bad. The texture's pretty good. Um, artificial peach flavour, but 
Right. Final one, Mr. Kipling. He can't let us down. Oh, it's a problem and pie. Okay. Uh, pun. Lovely. Sorry. Let's cut this pie. It's treacle top, I think. Okay. Have a bite. So my camera decided that it just wasn't going to save the rest of the clips, which is just great. But we only tried two more products. We tried the um, Trickle Tart, which you kind of saw the beginning of. That was very like, meh, 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 meh kind of bland. Tasted kind of like a digestive biscuit. Didn't taste a treacle or anything like you'd expect it to. So yeah, that wasn't really that great. Um, and the other thing we tried was the Outpro Coconut Ice Cream, which was really, really good, actually. Both of us really thought that was a very, very tasty ice cream. So I would definitely get that again. And the vegan chocolate I also liked, but everything else was kind of a bit, a bit crappy. But, you know, this is what you, you do it for. You try all different things, and some things are good and some things aren't. Um... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of helpful for anyone who's, you know, isn't sure, you know, what to get if they may be starting to go vegan or if they are vegan already. Maybe it's just helpful to know some extra bits you can get when you go to Tesco. Um, and I'll see you next week for another video. It won't be a supermarket one. I'll probably do these once a month, but I'll have another video up next Sunday. So I will see you then. Bye.